Many of you are highly skeptical of the claims I've been making in my last four videos. Apparently, I'm seeing patterns and connections where there are none. My starting point is the Great Pyramid, which we know the dimensions of. Then there are the Earth, Sun and Moon, which we also know the dimensions of. If the designers of the Great Pyramid did not know the dimensions of the Earth, Sun and Moon 4,000 plus years ago, then we should not find any connections between that particular pyramid and the sizes of those astronomical objects. If we do, then they should be spurious, so that you could change the dimensions of the pyramid or substitute it for another one, and the connection should still be there. It should be pretty obvious that if you did that, my hypothesis that there is a connection would fall apart, which suggests that that pyramid is called great for a reason. I'm going to expand on what I said last time by showing how the foot and the meter connect with the Egyptian royal cubit. I have to credit Sacred Geometry Decoded for a lot of this, which I only learnt recently. Judging by the comments under my last videos, many of you will recoil from the word sacred and falsely assume that we are dealing with Wu and magic claims. For those of you who can see beyond this prejudice, let's continue. Originally, the meter was defined as the length of a one-second pendulum, which we can see in grandfather clocks. The next way to define it was to divide the distance from the North Pole to the equator by 10 million. And then there is the meter we use today, the speed of light meter, which is defined as the distance light travels in 1,299,792,458 of a second, where a second is 1 86,400th division of the average day length on this planet. By some amazingly improbable coincidence, if you draw a circle with a diameter of one speed of light meter, one sixth of the circumference is exactly one Egyptian royal cubit. It can also be expressed as pi over six. And here's another seemingly improbable thing. If you add one Egyptian royal cubit and one meter, we have almost exactly five feet. What are the chances of random lengths fitting together like that? Maybe they're not random. In case you are wondering, we can connect the Great Pyramid to the second in the following way. The distance that a point on the equator moves in one second due to the rotation of the Earth is the same as the maximum visible base length of 880 Egyptian royal cubits. In other words, two base lengths, or half the perimeter, is 1 86,400th the equatorial circumference of the Earth. What is the probability that that is a coincidence? That number is one-tenth the diameter of the Sun in miles. 864 is 4 times 216, which is one-tenth the diameter of the Moon. It is a fact that the diameter of the Moon is 2,160 miles. Keep in mind that the surface of the Moon contains mountains which stop it from being completely smooth. So given an error margin of 5 miles or so, we can say that the 2,160 mile diameter is exact. So it looks like the modern mile and the modern meter are connected with the Egyptian royal cubit, which we find in the Great Pyramid, which is at least 4,500 years old. I'm not claiming that the Egyptians used meters or miles for sure, but it seems probable that people behind the scenes in more recent times calibrated them with the Egyptian royal cubit. At least, that is my tentative conclusion at this time.